we are putting our third monster species of Bushmaster on exhibit here at the Serpent Center today. And we got a special guest in house. Check it out. Bangs in your face. Subscribe now. Hey, before we get started, I want to thank everybody who has helped us along the way. Um, thank you guys for hanging in there with us. I mean, to our to our sponsors, to our animal sponsors, to our exhibit sponsors, we couldn't do it without you. And this video, it just proves how much work we've done and, and, and where all your sponsorship money went. And I'll tell you, thank you guys so much from Dina and myself and the Complete Serpent Center. And real quick before we get busy, um, we have three exhibits left that need sponsorships. So, and there's a lot of perks that come with a sponsorship. Lifetime memberships, um, free training classes, there's a lot of perks that come with it. And you can come to the Serpent Center as much as you want. But if you're here too long and too much, I will put a tool in your hand. So, anyways, let's get busy and have some fun. Hey y'all, what's happening? Willie at the Serpent Center. We got the man, the myth, the legend in the house, Austin Smith. Now, if y'all don't know who Austin is, Austin is one of our very first sponsors. He sponsored the Blackhead Bushmaster exhibit. That is one big old Bushmaster in there. <laughs> it is. It is. I tell you, Austin, he is doing fantastic in this exhibit too. He is very comfortable. He's feeding good. He is really relaxed in there. And he's using the hide that I set up for him, you know. He's tucking into that corner right where I expected him to go. So he's doing really, really well in there. Nice. I mean, you can tell he spends a lot of time over there. I mean, just like where the, there's a, there's a depression there for him. Yep. Yeah, he's kind of rooted that out himself. But, but this is what you help fund to build, brother. Well, I'm happy to have a part in it, man. Yep, that is your sponsored exhibit. But there is Ares, the god of war. Lachesis melanosophila, black-headed bushmaster. Austin came down personally today just to help me around the Serpentarium. We've been on the roof of this place. We've been outside working. We've been uh, mulching some new exhibits that we're working on. And Austin just gave me a whole day of labor today for free. <laughs> He not only sponsors an exhibit, he comes down and spends time and, and helps out at the Serpent Center, which is awesome. But everybody meet Austin. And Austin's single, ladies, so you know. <laughs> Austin, so what do you think of the center so far? Uh, I like it. Everything's coming together great. It's looking good. All the cages are naturalistic. They're clean. Everybody has plenty of places to hide. They have fresh water. Like, <laughs> just wait. You're going to use some your mind. But today's kind of a special day. I mean, we haven't done a video in a long time but we're actually putting another Bushmaster out on exhibit. We're gonna be one of the only facilities in the country where you'll be able to go see three species of Bushmaster on exhibit, three of the rarest snakes in the world in one spot. We've got the Lachesis Muda, we've got the Lachesis Melanosophila, and the Lachesis Tenopris, which we're putting a big one out on exhibit today. A big old retired breeder female, she's a monster. But hang in there, we're gonna have some fun. So before we put this big beautiful specimen in a new exhibit we got to say a big big thank you to the davis harris family david thank you so much for sponsoring this animal exhibit it means the world to us we couldn't have done this without you and when you see the exhibit all the work we've done to it i think you'll be happy with it but um david harrison family thank you so much for sponsoring this bushmasters exhibit all right so in this can we've got a 15 pound female with Jesus Tanopris, the Central American Bushmaster. And this is her new exhibit. And we'll get down here and take a closer look at the exhibit once I get this animal in it and get it secured. But Austin, you might want to get on that side of the room over there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Austin's a snake keeper too. He's got snakes, but he's just not a venomous guy, not yet. But I think Austin's going to be spending more time here at the Serpent Center now that he's been here and seen the place. <laughs> I think Austin may be. Um, soon to be one of my um, protégés. <laughs> All right, let's pull this big girl out and get her in the cage. What's up there, big girl? 
This is a big, big stenophrys. Big female. And this girl had already produced three clutches of eggs for us in her lifetime, so her breeding days are over. What a lot of people don't realize is Bushmasters will only produce three, maybe four times in their entire life. Time to retire this one. Let's get her lined up straight. Oh, she's a big girl. That is a big, big Bushmaster. And she's a big, gentle girl. She's really a pretty docile Bushmaster, but we're not going to take that into account and treat her accordingly. The way she should be treated with respect. All right, big mama, check that out, girl. Nice, big naturalistic exhibit. And she will be an ambassador for her species and educate a lot of people on her species and the importance of her species to the natural ecosystem in Costa Rica. Let's lock this down. All right. Now it's safe to come get a closer look. Well, you can see this big Lachesis stenophrys has settled into this exhibit very nicely. She's got a very spacious exhibit. A lot of nice little hiding places to tuck into where she feels comfortable. And it's interesting because this, this female's She's probably 12, 13 years old, and she's produced three times in her life. She's had three very good viable clutches. And the thing with Bushmasters is, you know, they're, they're not really a real prolific snake, and that's why they're rarely seen, and, and there's not too much known about them. And, and just from my studies and everything that I've learned through the years of working with Lachesis, you know, if you can get three viable clutches out of a female, that's, that, that's pretty good. It's, it's actually, actually really successful and they don't go much past that and the thing is they don't mature until a later age I mean at least five to seven years old for males and females mature a little bit later in life I mean this female this big female right here she didn't produce until she was nine years old and then she produced three years in a row and then that's it and the thing is if you push them too hard in captivity and try to breed them like every year and it, it, it's not good for them you, you can actually push them right into a right into death is what happens is in inexperienced keepers will think that you can breed these things like constantly and it, it's just not possible they're just not designed to breed more than three or four times in their life their bodies can't take that strain as big and as gnarly as they look they're actually a very delicate species so Breeding Bushmasters is is definitely an, an art form, and you got to understand the animal and its needs, and understand its 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 life cycle because you know they don't live thirty years like a lot of other snakes do. These guys might you know a longevity is you know could be fifteen years, and that's not too long. So they kind of space out them breedings where you know three to four breedings in a lifetime, and that's it, and they're done. So this girl will have a nice private exhibit all to herself and she will be an exhibit animal because we're going to retire her from the breeding where she can just be, you know, live out the rest of her days in a nice big exhibit and be relaxed and enjoy herself <laughs> and get a rat once a month and be happy. So she'll be an ambassador for her species. We can teach everybody about Costa Rican Bushmasters. But she looks great in there. She looks very, very nice in there. She's gonna thrive in here. Of course, this exhibit is running at about 72 to 75 degrees, and the humidity is high in there. It's like 77% humidity. Now, I monitored these exhibits weeks and weeks ahead of time. So they're running right, and they're exactly what I need to suit the species. A lot of work goes into this to building this exhibit. So, and it's all for the snake's benefit, all for the animal's benefit within it. 
if you keep them correctly, they will thrive and we'll keep them for a long time. Hey, once again, a big thank you to the David Harris family for sponsoring the Lachesis Tenophrys exhibit, the Central American Bushmaster. Hey, y'all go ahead and hit that B logo, subscribe now. <laughs> and come on back to Venom Central. This is Willie, we're checking out. Later. Later.